वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर वॉचिंग द वीडियोज शेयर विद यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव सीन वट इज द लाइब्ररी एंड वट आर द मॉड्यूल्स टूडे वी विल सी ऑन द पाइथन आइडल practically that how do we import libraries and how do we use the various modules to see the use of modules and how we use the modules how we import the libraries let us go to the python idol so my dear students in python standard library till now we have used math module so to import any to use any module we need to write the word import and the name of the module so import math and then we were able to use all the uh, functions inside the math module so in the math module we have seen uh, say like we have seen if we want to uh, use if we want to know the sqrt square root of 64 now see what happens now we have done error name sqrt is not defined because we have imported the math module but we have not used dot notation so what is dot notation before using sqrt we need to write the name of the module math math dot sqrt and then we can use this module so now the output is 8 again if we want to see say take any other number so this way we can use math module so we have seen uh, this power function also math dot power 2 comma 2 so this you get the power so now if we see now there are uh, other ways to import the module so what what are the other method if we do not want to write if we do not want to work using dot notation so we have to write import import we have to write from math import either as if we want to use a single function sqrt so now if you write simply sqrt of 125 so this is the output sqrt of only 25 right so if you write this way from the name of the module and import and single function now from the math module we can use only sqrt function but here we are we do not use then math dot name of the dot notation is not required here so if we write now here power of 2 comma 3 2 to the 4 to the 8 the output got it so now this we have already worked 
Now today we will see the uh, random module. So the same way now we will use import random. So import random means the module random is imported. Now to print a random number random dot again now we have to use random word and then dot so random dot random only so any random number here welcome now if we want to give a range so then we need to write here random range rand random range so rand <coughs> rand range and the parameters say 1 2 10 so now you will get the random number between the range 1 to 10 2 4 7 any number ranging 1 to 10 will be printed that is rand range now we will use random dot rand in one to ten so it is also printing the random number between one to ten seven to six now see the difference now what happened here what is the difference in rand range and rand int now when we have used rand int then it has printed the last value also whereas in rand range it will never print the last value got it the first difference first difference is rand int will consider both start and stop value it will print 1 also and 10 also as you have seen here but rand range will never print the stop value the second difference is in rand int we cannot give the step value but in rand range we can give now 1 to 10 and step of 2 so here you will get step of 2 with rand so these are the two differences you have to write that you have to remember that rand range is the rand with the rand range you rand range you can give the step also start stop and step but in rand int we cannot give step and rand int will consider the last value also but in rand range the last value will not be printed With simple example we can see here uh, rand range 0 to 1 so now you see it will come only 0 it will print only 0 0 it will never print 1 and if we print rand int rand int it will print 1 also and 0 also so I hope this is clear. Yeah. So next if we give rand int stop value 3 and start value 3 and stop 10 and minus 3. So now the output will be least 0. Here the question is what is the minimum and maximum 
number printed with this values see so here the minimum uh, minimum will be 0 minimum number and the maximum number will be 10 minus 3 7 that is always will be 7 so this way the question comes uh, that what will be the minimum possible and maximum possible numbers by this code now we will see how to make our own module so we have seen the structure of the module so here we can see the structure of a python module is it will contain doc strings variables and constants classes objects statements and functions so we will make our own module so to make module what is a module module is a collection of these things so i will take here we will go to I have already made here one file for you yeah yes so this is in the in the script mode we have written here see what all contains the module we have we have doc strings so this is the doc strings like these functions will perform mathematical operations it will add subtract multiply and divide two numbers and print the result this is doc strings so this can be given in this single triple quote also and in double triple quote also that is doc string it can be given anywhere in the program so this is a comment this function will divide two numbers and the function is made add two parameters okay this you can see we have already seen this is the function of subtraction and multiplication and this is for the division so now is a in this file there are four functions that will add subtract multiply and divide right so now this file we have saved here docstoday.py I'll show you once again I can copy this here and suppose I take a new file and paste okay so now I will save this file and the file should be saved at the path same where your python is installed so i give the name here module 1 today module 1 today dot py automatically automatically it will save so now i have saved one file with the name module today module one today dot p and in that these are the functions so now this is my own module now i will call this module and will perform these functions so we'll go to again here import import module one today that means when there is no error that means the module is successfully imported so now what are the functions there add so what I will do here I will have to use dot notation earlier I have told you so I will write here module 1 today so the name is big purposely I kept module 1 today dot add and And I'll write here number say so these two numbers will be added. Got it? So change your number 100 to 50. 
changed. So in the module, we have four functions. So we can use subtraction also. Subtract mod into the subtract and then minus 50. So this way all four functions can be used because in my file there are only four functions. Now I can also call the name call the uh, module name as short name allies name so I can import this module this way also import 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 module one today as I have told you earlier also as empty say empty now I will write only empty dot multi five comma six five six thirty. So this way we can make our own module and use it. I hope this is clear, children. So this you have to. My dear students, today we have discussed what is a library and the different libraries of Python. We have also seen how to import in the different ways the modules. Dear students, you need to practice well to understand and to use the modules. Unless you practice on your Python idle, you may forget it. So dear students, practice and after this video, we will have a test also. I will be sharing with you the PDF of chapter 4 also. Thank you. Have a nice day.